So the rishis the, or sages were giving knowledge. The yogis said, we are going to take this knowledge and use it in a specific way for union with that, with the cosmic consciousness, for union, for leaving this body. The yogis are not the rishis or sages who brought the Vedas to us. Not necessarily. They are a small group of people that said we are going to use it to unite with God and leave this body because that body is an obstacle. You have a lot more people, a great part of humanity, who took this knowledge and said, let's see what else we can do with it. Because I do have a couple lower back issues. If I'm too flexible, I start feeling pain. Yes. So when I'm doing sun salutations and I get to a point and I know that point where my fingers, my palms can touch the ground, that's when I need to back off. Actually, when my fingers start touching the ground, I know I need to back off because once my palms touch the ground, and I've done this many times, my back starts getting bad. I start feeling pain when I move. I start doing things. So that is actually too flexible for exactly. me. Exactly. The feet up the wall only worked for uh, people that were very flexible. Yes. Uh, so they did it more as a, oh. Feel good feel for good. the moment. Yep. And they would teach it, and they thought that it was the, the shadizzle of <laughs> every pose. Yeah. And it ended up, statistically, I think that it only helped like one out of a thousand yeah. clients that we had. In the yoga world, uh -huh. Iyengar and uh, uh, John Friend yes. are the... You have to do this. So yes. they're more of the plutonium. Newtonian. Newtonium. Yes. Yoga. Yeah. And then the, uh, what is it, yin and several others yes. are more of the. The real the, yin. Yes. Not the, not the fake yin that everybody, yeah. yeah. So, the, so when you're dealing with that, yep. you have unlimited possibilities yes. of how Warrior Two should look. Yes. I foresee a lot of studios closing. I foresee a lot of studios not opening up, but I see yoga as becoming bigger and bigger because there's going to be the strong-willed, the strong-minded yoga teacher that will find a way. Yoga has been around for thousands of years, yes. not what we're practicing today. Exactly. I'm not saying that Warrior Two has been around for thousands of years. No, not no more than that. hundred, if that. Yep. <laughs> but people have been mm -hmm. around. People have been moving. We've all figured out ways to exercise. So, so you had studios that stayed open. You had studios that closed. Yep. Now this almost brings me back to when we opened our first studio. People picketing out front. Are there going to be? people picketing out front of studios that are open because they the studio that they that they go to that's closed is not opening so they're going to go and attack studios that are opening i i see that as one of the things that hmm. could be coming from this is a us against them mentality yeah and there's always been an us against them mentality uh in yoga if your angar is very specific and if you've ever seen him teach, you know what we mean. Uh, it's you want to push the left side of the right toe on the second foot into the ground, lifting up the third toe, breaching back to the heel with your anus. And <laughs> so it's all these very specific things where you might not even get three poses done in a class. Now, yin is completely opposite. And this comes from her. And this comes from her. Because we, we have that on video. And Krishnamacharya's son, yes. actually. So, uh, he made her life miserable. And because he he wanted to actually, he wanted her 
to fail. He yeah. wanted her now, to leave. Now, with that, that could have been because of being pressured from other gurus. Yes. Or it could have been that he just didn't want to train women. Exactly. And, and he was pressured from other gurus also. And for a while, he didn't want to train women. Yep. And uh, so anyway, she stuck with it. And uh, so, and after a year... Even intense fitness is therapeutic. CrossFit is therapeutic for CrossFit people. Working out <laughs> creates endorphins. Endorphins make people happy. <laughs> happy people don't kill their spouses. <laughs> Where did that line come from? But anyways, so this is one of the pages from the International Yoga Therapy, <laughs> International Association of Yoga Therapists. Their book, which cost a couple hundred dollars yep. now, yep. Uh, it is for fish. And I am going to read. 